previously. You're the lowest of low, your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. <laughs> uh, that's a thing. Currently. How's it going, YouTube, and welcome back to Gothic Plays The Crooked Man. When we left off, D found something rather upsetting to him and blew past me, and now we've lost track of him, so we gotta go find him. Wee! I'm pretty sure I've got an idea of where he's at. Hello? D. I gotta fight a crooked man. Out of habit. We good? We good. Oh no! D, there you are! Thank goodness! I always knew, at least that I wasn't a genius or anything. Why didn't he just say it? I don't know, D. I respected Professor Andrew because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test five times. I'm a failure. A little bit. Not really, though. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. It's not a bad idea to study. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. Ooh, what? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up! Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking in something or other. In your case, it was intelligence. You... I can't say that word. You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot. I studied hard and I made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see and you suddenly have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now. But back then, I couldn't even comprehend. So I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. But I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day, I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer. But I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized. It's not much. But I make my own money. I have a girlfriend and I drink with my buddy. I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now. Nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yeah. Though I didn't quite notice it, my life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. How about you? I... I won't give up, because... because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see.
So I'll... Just one more time. I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give it up good for good then. Reading, I'm good at it. But it won't mean that the, those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. David, what's up? That guy. Uh, what? Uh, hey, David! D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away, got it? But what the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me the monster's after. I'll take care of it. All right. Please tell me I get a save. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Save? Yay! Whoa! Nope, 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 Ah, balls. It's gonna be one of those episodes. Oh, it's gonna be one of those episodes, is it? I found a cheat. I found a cheat and I did it. Do David, you're so damn slow. Are you sure you're alright? Damn it. Hang on, David. I'll come save you. Ack. It startled me, dude. You okay, David? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah. Somehow, I have to admit to at least playing that 50 times before I finally found that, oh, I can just trap him on the other side of the desk and swing. I kind of am a little bit of a failure at this game. Bye, Mountain Dew. But I don't think it's done for, done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What? What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant motel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I, I don't get it, dude. But, uh, you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh? Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looked pretty new, so I thought you had just dropped it. Place of regret. Do you know where this is? No clue, but I don't think it's pretty far from here. It'd take about a day to drive. That's a long way. That's a long way. We're driving all over the USA here. Road trip. I think I'll check this out. So long. H hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Ain't it dangerous driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though... I have sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, alright. Take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can find myself fine. Or I can handle myself fine. Okay. Be careful, then. Wait!
If we meet again sometime, you wanna have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. Yay! End of scene two! Julia Stone Law School. D. End. Save! Save! Yes, please! <laughs> Alright, I still got a good ten minutes left of this episode, though. So let's go into the next chapter. Why not? Hello? Hello? Hmm? It's a nice car. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. A message from Shirley. She called me again? What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Oh no! A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Yeah, no kidding. Those are like places you never go in a horror game situation. Hotels, schools, ho or hospitals, bathrooms. You avoid these places. <laughs> uh, should I go in? I wouldn't. <laughs> if it were me, I wouldn't. A vending machine. Do I have all of my health back? Apparently so. Okay, cool. Not operational. The elevator seems to have stopped at floor four. Okay, dokey. So, what about this? Oh, don't tell me I have to fight in here. This looks like more of a place I would need to fight. Nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside, no, it's locked. I wonder if there's anything inside, it's a simple lock, or maybe I could get it open without the key. Can I? Thank you! Um... Nope. Okay. Sort of equipment. Box lost and found. Copy machine. Extinguisher. Call key box. Passcode. Oh, one of these puzzles. This is gonna be fun. Okay. I am doing this all myself. Aha! Open the key box. Got a cafeteria key and an elevator trunk key. Neat. Cafe key. Oh, patient clinic. It has a number lock. This is, lack bat this is lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. Neat. I guess I'm going upstairs. Door seems to be busted. Of course it does. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Or seems to be busted. I think most of this is me trying to figure out where to go next. Frame rate slowing me down. No. 
door seems to be busted. Oh no, there's a door here. Hello? 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 Dark red writing on the blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Seems busted. Seems busted. Seems busted. Okay. Unlock the cafeteria. Oh, this is probably where I'm gonna fight. Empty can. Okay. Hello? Can rolled on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small wire. I need a small wire for. Maybe to jimmy this open. Can I jimmy this open with a small wire? Unlocked it with the wire. Okay. Uh, got note about number lock. Four, four, eight, nine. Cool. Okay. Apologies if I seem quiet. I am just... Didn't watch the... I don't know. It's, it's weird. What? Bad kitty? Oh, that's... Lovely. A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Okay. Uh, sorry. Got a bloody key. I heard the kitty. Oh, sads. Okay. What now? Door seems to be busted. Okay. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Not operational. Door seems to be busted. 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 Hello? If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Okay. Beverage dispenser. Go. Okay, so what's important about this place? These are all busted, right? Uh, puke? Might be vomit. Hi. A single chair. Drab bed. Scrap of a notebook. I didn't get to read that. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch by family scream. I could I still can't answer that question. No doubt about it, it's the guy. Lock seems to be busted. 
Yeah, it's the guy. The former tenant. Apparently he had a, an ill family member as well. All these doors seem to be busted. I really don't want to be caught with my pants down. Use the trunk key. Okay, got an AED. What's an AED? Automatic external defibrillator. It only has one. Has a little light battery left. Okay. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Okay. It's locked. Okay. That's adorable. Hello, little kid. What are you doing here? Are your mom or dad not around? Did you come here alone? Um, hmm. Are you a mute, perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well, I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far away from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball, too. Mama gave me a cliff, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah, Mama says it, my hair's fluffy like a towel, so Fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama, then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here and sang, but Mama hasn't come back yet. So you got lost? Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all alone. Great, a kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy? Better give chase, I guess. And again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police anyway. I'll take him somewhere safe if I see him again. On that note, I gotta pause it. Thank you as always for watching. The annotation on the top right hand of the screen will take you to the next episode. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and do feel free to share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Comments are love. Please post comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, or if there's another game you want to see me play, I might actually get to it. And as always, stay classy, guys, and keep playing those games. There are tadpoles in the water. My dad is dead. My dad was eaten by a snake. You killed him! Oh no, the bad boy is the key. Yes, the key! Yeah, no-